12 Rules for Life is a self-help book that offers practical advice for navigating the complexities of modern life. The book blends psychology, philosophy, and personal anecdotes to address fundamental aspects of human behavior and well-being. Each of the 12 rules is designed to help individuals take responsibility for their lives, improve their relationships, and find meaning in the face of suffering and chaos. Through clear, actionable guidance, the book encourages readers to strive toward a more ordered and fulfilling existence. Rule 1. Stand up straight with your shoulders back. This rule emphasizes the importance of posture, both physically and mentally. Standing up straight with your shoulders back isn't just about improving your physical appearance, it also sends a powerful message to yourself and others about your confidence and strength. In nature, animals that exhibit dominant postures are less likely to be challenged, and similarly, adopting a strong posture helps convey self-respect and authority. This simple act can set the tone for how others perceive and treat you, as well as how you perceive yourself. On a deeper level, this rule is connected to the concept of self-respect. When you maintain a strong posture, you're not just presenting yourself in a way that suggests confidence, you're also affirming your worth. Many people struggle with feelings of inadequacy, often leading to submissive behavior that invites mistreatment or disregard from others. By standing tall, you assert that you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, both by others and by yourself. This signals that you're ready to face the challenges of life head-on. Moreover, posture is a reflection of your inner state. Slouching or shrinking away often indicates defeat, depression, or fear, whereas standing tall signifies readiness and resilience. Life inevitably brings struggles, and while you can't always control the circumstances, you can control how you respond to them. This rule encourages you to take responsibility for your physical presence in the world, which in turn impacts your mental state. By making a conscious effort to improve your posture, you can influence how you engage with life's challenges and opportunities. Rule 2. Treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Many people take better care of others than they do themselves. This rule highlights the irony in how we often neglect our own well-being, even though we would never treat someone else we care about in the same manner. The idea here is to shift that mindset, treat yourself with the same level of care, compassion, and responsibility that you would offer to someone else in need. Doing so is not an act of selfishness, rather, it's essential for living a healthy and fulfilling life. One reason people don't take care of themselves properly is that they may not believe they deserve it. They may feel guilt, shame, or a lack of self-worth that prevents them from prioritizing their own needs. By treating yourself as someone you are responsible for helping, you are forced to confront those feelings and work through them. This approach encourages you to value yourself and understand that self-care is a prerequisite for being able to help others effectively. This rule also suggests a practical framework for self-care. Just as you would develop a plan for someone else's well-being, be it through diet, exercise, mental health support, or life planning, you should do the same for yourself. The focus is on responsibility and accountability. By taking yourself seriously as someone deserving of care and attention, you can cultivate habits and routines that enhance your overall quality of life. This shift in perspective helps you function better not only for your own sake but also for the benefit of those around you. Rule 3. Make friends with people who want the best for you. The people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your life, for better or for worse. This rule urges you to be selective about your friends and associates, choosing people who genuinely want the best for you. It's easy to fall into relationships that are comfortable but ultimately unproductive or even harmful. Sometimes, people may keep toxic friends out of loyalty, familiarity, or a fear of being alone. However, these relationships can pull you down rather than lift you up. The key idea here is that real friends should encourage your growth, help you achieve your goals, and provide support during difficult times. If your friends are not contributing to your well-being, if they are dragging you into unhealthy behaviors, discouraging your progress, or fostering negativity, it's time to reevaluate those relationships. Building a network of supportive, positive individuals is crucial for personal development. These are the people who will hold you accountable, inspire you to be better, 
and celebrate your successes with you. This rule is also about reciprocity. It's not just about finding people who support you but also about being the type of person who supports others. Relationships are a two-way street, and when you're around people who truly want the best for you, you're likely to want the best for them too. This mutual exchange fosters an environment where everyone involved can thrive. Over time, these kinds of healthy relationships build a foundation of trust, respect, and shared growth, helping all parties reach their full potential. Rule 4. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. This rule addresses the trap of constant comparison with others, which is a common source of dissatisfaction and unhappiness. In the age of social media and heightened visibility, it's easy to fall into the habit of comparing your life, achievements, and abilities to those of others. However, such comparisons are often unfair and unproductive, as they focus on external markers of success rather than internal growth. Instead, this rule encourages you to compare yourself only to your past self, measuring progress based on your own journey. By focusing on your own progress, you are more likely to recognize and celebrate your achievements, however small they may seem. The only comparison that matters is between who you are today and who you were yesterday. This mindset fosters a sense of personal responsibility and accountability. Rather than being demoralized by other successes, you can focus on your own growth, which leads to a healthier and more positive outlook on life. This rule also acknowledges the uniqueness of each individual's circumstances. Everyone is dealing with their own set of challenges, strengths, and opportunities, which means that direct comparisons with others are often meaningless. By focusing on self-improvement and personal progress, you align your actions with your own values and goals, rather than being swayed by external pressures or societal expectations. This way, you become more attuned to your own needs and aspirations, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and authentic life. Rule 5. Do not let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. This rule emphasizes the importance of setting boundaries and providing discipline when raising children. The underlying idea is that children need structure and guidance to develop into well-adjusted adults. Without clear boundaries, children may engage in behaviors that are disruptive or disrespectful, which can lead to frustration and resentment in parents. When children grow up in an environment where their actions go unchecked, they often fail to understand the consequences of their behavior, and this can create problems not just at home but also in society. The rule encourages parents to be proactive in correcting behaviors that are undesirable, even if it feels uncomfortable or exhausting. Discipline doesn't mean harsh punishment, rather, it's about teaching children what is acceptable and what is not, in a way that is loving yet firm. When parents don't intervene, children are left to navigate the complexities of social interaction on their own, often resulting in them facing harsher feedback from peers, teachers, or other adults later in life. Therefore, it's crucial to help them understand the balance between freedom and responsibility early on. Moreover, this rule highlights the concept that parents play a vital role in preparing their children for the outside world. If parents don't teach their children the necessary social skills, someone else will, often in a much less forgiving manner. By setting clear rules and teaching children the consequences of their actions, parents not only prevent their children from engaging in behaviors that make them unlikable but also instill values that help them integrate better into society. This balance between nurture and discipline fosters respect, independence, and social competence in children. Rule 6. Set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. This rule urges people to focus on their personal responsibilities and inner lives before attempting to change the world around them. It's easy to point fingers at external factors, such as the government, societal structures, or other people, when things go wrong in life. However, the core message here is that you should first address your own shortcomings and get your personal life in order before you critique the wider world. This idea is rooted in the belief that taking responsibility for your own life can empower you to make meaningful changes, both personally and in the larger community. The rule encourages individuals to clean up the metaphorical mess in their own lives. This includes addressing bad habits, mending strained relationships, taking care of health, managing finances, and organizing one's living environment. 
By focusing on these areas, a person creates a sense of stability and control in their own life, which is a prerequisite for any larger influence they hope to exert. Often, when life feels chaotic, it's a reflection of internal disorganization, and by confronting these issues, you can regain a sense of purpose and control. Once you've set your own house in order, you'll likely find that your perspective on the world has shifted. By taking responsibility for your own life, you develop the resilience and moral authority needed to critique and change the external world. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by the world's problems, you start from a place of strength and clarity, which allows you to contribute more effectively to societal improvement. This rule highlights the power of personal responsibility as the foundation for broader social change. Rule 7. Pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. This rule delves into the importance of seeking out meaning in life, rather than simply doing what is easy or convenient. Life is full of difficult decisions and temptations that can lead people to take the path of least resistance. However, this approach often leads to shallow, unfulfilling outcomes. Pursuing what is meaningful, even when it is challenging, leads to a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose. Meaningful pursuits often require sacrifice, discipline, and long-term thinking, but they ultimately bring a sense of accomplishment and integrity. Expedience, on the other hand, is the pursuit of immediate gratification. It's the easier option but often leads to negative consequences in the long run. This rule encourages individuals to look beyond short-term rewards and think about what actions will lead to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Whether it's in relationships, career choices, or personal development, the focus should be on what aligns with one's values and long-term goals rather than what simply provides temporary satisfaction. Moreover, this rule highlights the importance of facing the difficulties of life head-on. Life is inherently filled with suffering and hardship, and it's easy to become cynical or apathetic. However, by pursuing what is meaningful, individuals can transcend their hardships and find purpose in their struggles. This approach encourages resilience and inner strength, as it requires individuals to take on responsibility and act in ways that contribute positively to their lives and the lives of others. In essence, the pursuit of meaning is seen as a path to a more fulfilling and virtuous life. Rule 8, Tell the Truth, or, at least, Don't Lie. This rule revolves around the importance of truthfulness in both personal and social contexts. Telling the truth may seem simple, but in practice, it can be quite challenging. Often, people lie or distort the truth to avoid conflict, discomfort, or the consequences of their actions. However, lying creates a web of deception that complicates life, damages relationships, and erodes trust. This rule encourages individuals to be as truthful as possible, not just with others but also with themselves. Being truthful requires courage. It often means confronting uncomfortable realities, admitting mistakes, or taking responsibility for actions that may have caused harm. However, the act of telling the truth simplifies life by aligning one's words with reality. When you consistently tell the truth, you build trust with others, and your relationships become more genuine and solid. It also forces you to live in a way that is more aligned with your values, as the act of lying usually arises when one's actions are not in harmony with their beliefs. Telling the truth also fosters personal growth. When you face reality head-on, you are more likely to learn from your experiences and make necessary changes. Avoiding the truth can lead to stagnation, as it allows you to remain in a state of denial. On the other hand, being honest, even when it is difficult, promotes self-awareness and integrity. This rule underscores the idea that truthfulness is foundational to personal development and meaningful relationships, serving as a compass for navigating life's complexities. Rule 9 Assume that the person you are listening to might know something you don't. This rule emphasizes the importance of genuine listening, which involves giving full attention to the person speaking rather than merely waiting for your turn to talk. Often, people approach conversations as competitions or platforms to assert their opinions. Instead of engaging with what is being said, they mentally prepare responses or arguments while the other person is speaking. This rule encourages the opposite approach humility in conversation, where the goal is to learn rather than to win. 
genuine listening is a skill that requires practice and patience. By assuming that the person you're engaging with has knowledge that could be valuable, you open yourself up to new perspectives and insights. This isn't just about absorbing facts but understanding how others think, experience, and interpret the world. Listening effectively can deepen relationships, foster empathy, and broaden your own views on complex issues. Moreover, this rule highlights the therapeutic value of listening. When you give someone space to articulate their thoughts and feelings, they often gain clarity about their own situation. In a sense, good listening can help others untangle their problems, even if you never offer direct advice. It's a form of respect and validation that has the power to enrich both the listener and the speaker. Rule 10. Be precise in your speech. Being precise in your speech means expressing yourself clearly and accurately. Vagueness in language often leads to confusion, misunderstandings, and unnecessary conflict. When people are not careful with their words, they can obscure the truth or avoid facing the reality of a situation. This can be particularly harmful in personal relationships, where ambiguity often leads to unresolved issues or emotional distance. Precision in speech forces individuals to confront their thoughts and emotions directly. It requires them to think deeply about what they mean before they speak, reducing the likelihood of miscommunication. For example, instead of saying, everything is going wrong, it's more helpful to articulate specific problems, such as, I'm stressed about my job because of X. This not only helps the person expressing their concerns but also aids in finding solutions because the problem is defined more clearly. Furthermore, clear communication contributes to a more ordered life. When you articulate your goals, desires, and challenges with precision, you are better able to navigate the complexities of everyday life. Vague language often reflects vague thinking, which can result in chaos and indecision. By practicing precision in your speech, you refine your ability to deal with the world effectively and reduce unnecessary complications. Rule 11. Do not bother children when they are skateboarding. This rule addresses the idea of fostering resilience, particularly in younger people. Skateboarding is used metaphorically to represent the risks children and teenagers take as they test their limits and push boundaries. Trying to stop them from these activities can stifle their ability to learn resilience and adapt to the world's inherent challenges. Life is full of risks, and allowing young people to engage with these risks in controlled environments helps them build the confidence and skill to face more significant challenges later on. There's a balance to be struck between protecting children from harm and allowing them the freedom to experience difficulty. Shielding them too much from danger can result in individuals who are ill-equipped to handle adversity. On the other hand, letting them face manageable risks teaches them that failure is a part of learning and growth. The bruises they might get from a fall while skateboarding become valuable lessons in perseverance and self-sufficiency. This rule also speaks to the broader societal trend of overprotectiveness, where fear of injury or failure can lead to an overregulated, overly safe environment for children. While the intent behind these protections is often positive, the unintended consequence is that it limits personal development. People need the space to explore, make mistakes, and face the consequences of their actions to grow into resilient, capable adults. The world can be dangerous, but too much intervention removes the very experiences that help individuals become stronger and more adaptive. Rule 12. Pet a cat when you encounter one on the street. The final rule emphasizes the importance of finding small moments of joy and solace amidst the inevitable suffering of life. Life is filled with challenges and hardships, and it's easy to become overwhelmed by the weight of it all. This rule suggests that when you encounter something as simple as a cat on the street, take a moment to appreciate it. These brief moments of beauty or peace can provide comfort and perspective in difficult times. This idea extends beyond just petting cats. It's about recognizing that even when life is tough, there are still small, fleeting experiences that can provide relief. These moments don't solve the larger problems you face, but they remind you that there is still good in the world. They offer a way to temporarily step out of the chaos and gain a sense of calm. These small acts of appreciation help balance the suffering, preventing it from becoming all-consuming. Ultimately, 
This rule encourages mindfulness and gratitude for the simple pleasures in life. Even in the face of immense difficulty, it's possible to find peace in the small, ordinary things. This perspective doesn't deny the reality of suffering but suggests that by paying attention to the world around you, you can still find reasons to feel connected and uplifted. It's a reminder to take breaks, to appreciate what is good, and to allow those small moments of joy to help sustain you through the harder parts of life.